So I was just about ready to go to bed early, and then I just happened to see a question that I wanted to answer without researching, and that was a bit of a challenge. So uh, is it possible to rank only visible numbers? So here we have some letters, uh, just randomly generated some data, and the question I saw in LinkedIn was, I want to rank only the numbers for the visible data. So the first thing would be, something like this. You want to filter it down to ABC and then you want to rank only the numbers that you see right here. So I almost gave up and went to bed but then I remembered finally how to do this. So the first thing is to do this. We want to uh, use this subtotal subtotal function and we want to say a 3 for count the non-blanks and we want to only point to one cell reference to that cell. It doesn't it could be this cell or that cell. I'll show you how this works in a minute. So I press enter. Drag this all the way down. At first you might think, well this doesn't work at all. I mean you get ones every time. And it's a bit strange how it's not a range of numbers. We've got the the number three for count non-blank and it's only a one cell reference. But you'll see in a minute. Now I'm going to add in the sum function highlight all of these ones to show you it's 24. 24 being the same as all the data we have here. So we have 24 rows of data in our data set and by adding up all these ones, this will prove it in a minute, we've got 24 of them. So I'll just put that over here. Um, so we want to now put the filter on this as well. So we'll go like that, filter, and now watch what happens to that 24 when I select only ABC out of this list. The 24 becomes 8. So, and it has not changed, the range is still the same, summing from C14 all the way down to C37. So how on earth does this work? Well, the subtotal function, as you can see when you go into the little help window, you click here, help on this function and it brings up this great big list. The important thing is down here and it says the subtotal function ignores any rows that are not included in the result of the filter no matter which function number value you use. So I believe that is why this works. Uh, but we're still missing one more thing. With the, the main point of this whole exercise is to rank the data. So now let's just use, let's just get rid of column D here. And we are going to use column, this column D to rank everything. So I'm going to use a built in function. Why well, use an array formula if you don't have to? Count ifs. First condition being, so here's my range, and I want it to equal the one I see here. Second one is, I select all these numbers and I want to know how many are greater than the current one. Okay, so I'm just going to lock my ranges. Here's my text range for column, or my letter range for column A. I lock that. In column B, that is the, uh, the range for the data. So I just press the check mark and I'm going to drag this down. Now, of course, this doesn't really make sense until we put the filter back on. So I'm just going to click that, select the data, click filter again. Now when I select only ABC, here we go. So we're getting the rank. Now zero, okay, so we've got a zero. So one thing that we could do, let's just take this off. We could come in here and say plus one. That way the largest number is always going to get a one. All right, so let's try this again. Uh, in here, we're going to say only ABC. And the 1 is the 45, the largest number. 2 is a 40. 3 is a 37. Uh, 4 is 35. 5 is 34. 6 is 32. 7 is a 20. So it works. Let's just try it with a different one. Let's try JKL. Does it also work for this data set? So the largest number is a 1, the second largest is a 2, 
and as you see all the way through and it works again so i think this is i i saw some crazy solutions years ago that were very very long but uh this is the one that i use and it seems to work well i don't know if it will work on 30 or 40,000 rows of data but um if you just change this very quickly it seems to do it. i'm sure you could use a vba procedure to do something fancier but uh this is a quick way to do it